What's your, what are you trying to do the rest of the season? What's your goals and expectations? Uh, my goals for the rest of the season are just <laughs> keep it up on the podium. You know, uh, I've had a really up and down season. Um, it's kind of been inconsistent, you know, and I'm trying to end that. So I'm trying to just keep it up on the podium, keep uh, top three finishes, and yeah, just try and, try and get some wins. That'd be good. Andy. Uh, Seattle. Seattle. The one I won? Yeah. yeah. Seattle, you were on it. How, what made you that day be able to hang it out that far above everybody else and, and make that work? You know, uh, I was working on my starts uh, and, uh, before we came back for that race and I was just really confident, really confident in myself and uh, even even after the even after the win in Salt Lake, I kind of was really still confident. But uh, that race it was just like I was just on another level, and I really liked the ruts, and I mean that track just gelled really really good. So uh, you had to come up through the arena cross, do a few of those to point out. How how was that experience for moving to Supercross? Um, the arena cross was a little hectic. Uh, I actually won a. Uh, and arena cross main event in the first arena cross that I did, so it was pretty fun. It was a fun experience, and, and I got to see what they uh, what they endure with the fans and signing autographs and the cameras and, and racing in front of the crowd and, and all that. So it was it was a pretty fun experience, and I liked it. So far in the last couple of years, what's your favorite outdoor track? Uh, my favorite outdoor track, I'd probably say Unadilla. Mm -hmm. um, my home track is, is Ironman, and I like that track a lot. But I like I like the way that Unadilla ruts up and, and gets really rough, and, and uh, I, I just really like that a lot. Okay. Next year, you staying on the 250? Or? Um, yeah, so I'm, sta um, I'm signed with Star Racing for another year, and um, I'm gonna try and stay 250 and, and try and get some championships under my belt. Um, coming from Ohio. I'm from Iowa, some of the same problems, you know, you got weather in the winter, you can only train part of the time, you know, when you're an amateur, until you get to go south. Do uh, you think that helped or hurt your career to get to where you're at? Um, I think living in Ohio, I had I had a lot of people to ride, or ride with, um, the Mullins family. Uh, my dad always took me, took me ride, and we always just ride in the woods and we always used to go to races so I mean I wasn't actually really too too serious about it until I got up like 80 times so I mean I don't think it, it hurt me because I had such good people to ride with and, and teach me and uh, teach me bike skills and, and everything so I think it it, it honestly grew up where I was helping me out a lot. Did you ever think about staying in the woods? Um, yeah, well actually before, uh, before Star Racing approached me, I was I was actually not interested in motocross at all. And uh, I was going to stay in the woods, but these guys uh, they came up to me and they were like, yeah, give, give motocross a try. Do you, know. you like Sipes and retire in the woods if you have to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I probably definitely will after this. Uh, after this, motocross takes over. We'll, uh, we'll definitely get back in the woods.